Welcome back to Flint's Collectibles. T today we are going to do an unboxing and review on Michelangelo as the Universal's Monsters Mummy. I see pizza pyramids lying among the cowabunga dunes. Comes the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universal Monsters. It's Michelangelo as the mummy. Observe the monster's body wrapped in bandages to preserve his temporary scent. His turtle shell adorned with hieroglyphics which tells our theologists he's a party dude. And the monster's rotten face, which with the power of the Unchucks, can grant Mikey eternal restoration. It's the old new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Universal Monsters, Michelangelo as the mummy. Comes with everything you see here. This is only the beginning. <laughs> the mecca. And no, with me it. today is my very special guest, Eli. <laughs> With his Christmas Miles Morales shirt on. Yeah, we get, we get Christmas before Thanksgiving. And before stores. we get into the unboxing, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And click the bell if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and dig in. Alright, so here is the front of the box. It has Michelangelo as the mummy on the front of it and then on the side of the box and every other time this. is all the other characters that, that, we already have. that we already have which is Michelangelo as the mummy um, Raphael as Frankenstein and that one right up there Leonardo as the hunchback and, and April O'Neil as the bride of Frankenstein and then we'll go to the back of the box here we go. I don't In the back of the box it. are always my favorite because they look like the old time horror posters. This one says, Through ancient dust and pizza crust lurks Michel Michelangelo as the mummy. Unbelievable turtle terror awaits. Is it dead or alive? Mikey comes to life. The party dude is out of the tomb. Beware the curse of Kawabunga, you've been warned. So very cool, awesome looking artwork. Then the other side of the box is yes, I, just his name and then the character. So let's go ahead and take an overhead view Whee! of the box. All right, so here is an overhead view of the box. So we'll have Eli open it, which shows you the figure. And then it's got the figure and then a picture of the figure on the other side so let's go ahead and get him out of the box all right so there he is out of the box now let's get him out of the plastic all right so here is everything out of the package let's go ahead and take a look at the head switch out got that awesome detailed face with no skin on his lips look to him of course the orange and then let's look at the staff which is like a snake staff Pretty cool looking. It does bend and is flexible. That's pretty cool. Not sure what these are, but just random pieces of wrap. Look really cool, lots of detail to them. There are two of those. And then here is a closed fist. Get the focus. Looks cool with the Egyptian wrap look to it fight some bad guys and then here is the open fist which is to hold his weapons looks awesome and here's his weapons two pair of nunchucks Egyptian looking look amazing goes with that mummy look and last but not least here he is now he looks amazing he's got like this detail on his belt, to just the wraps, to just then you turn around, and then he's got like a, you can see it, hieroglyphics looking stuff, Egyptian, and then his wrap right here is torn, just looks so absolutely amazing looking, all the detail and the figure itself, so there he is. All right, so there it is. I 
have to say that this whole line has a lot of detail. It's hard to show all on camera, but I definitely highly recommend buying all of these and collecting the whole series. And just so you guys know where I get mine from, as this one I purchased here locally at Evansville's Toys and Games. So if you're in the Evansville area, please be sure to check them out. It's an amazing store. They got amazing selection of toys, games, comics, and all kinds of fun stuff. And the owner, sirs, the owners are super friendly and nice and it's a great place to go to shop and they always hook me up so i give it a two thumbs up what about you one million a hundred thousand and he broke his elbows and his knees one million dollars so he like gives it a two thumbs up easily and until next time peace, peace. Out, guys.